Greetings to you, Internet. It is I again, Sir Spicer, here with another episode of Darkest Dungeon. On the last episode, if you guys remember, we had a terrible, absolutely terrible uh, time in the ruins. Uh, a bunch of people almost died, but we got out of it pretty, uh, pretty worse for wear. We had a bunch of people have some negative traits that happened, and uh, we did end up recruiting some other people in between episodes. So, um, I have a, uh, what is this guy? A mercenary now, and I have a name for him. I shall name the Eric. He's actually a good friend of mine. Uh, one of the things I do in my spare time, believe it or not, is I get up in armor and I sword fight other people. Um, it's called the SCA. For those of you interested, you could look it up. But he is actually the person who, uh, I am squired under, so he has, uh, taught me many ways of <clears throat> sword fighting and stuff like that. So we are going to name him Eric. And it's kind of fitting because he's actually kind of a, a bounty hunter, mercenary person in the organization, so that's kind of neat. So, and uh, we also named our hound master, even though he's in the bar right now drinking because he's stressed out of his mind, we named him Ham Goblin, which is actually another family member of mine. Uh, we have a couple other heroes that we haven't named yet, and when I have names for them, I will bestow upon them some names. So we're going to jump right into it here. We're going to embark on a mission. I think what I'm going to do for these next couple episodes is I am going to do some playing off-screen and get up to the point where I am ready to take on the actual next quest. Um, and if anything specific, you know, big happens, I'll fill you guys in on those little missions. But I think the little missions to level my guys up and just collect loot, I'm going to do off screen. And then for the big giant battles for fighting the various bosses and things, I think that's what we're going to make the episodes out of. Just for the sake of time, so that I'm not, you know, we're not 100 episodes in or something like that. Uh, and to kind of keep things a little bit fresh here. So we have a couple quests. We have the uh, another ruins quest that we could do. I think we're actually going to explore outside the ruins. I think we're going to go, let's see, the Weld, Bandits, and then we have the Warrens, which is like, I think it's like a foresty area. Let's go there. Crusader only, that could be good for me. And it's a relatively short quest. I think that's what we're going to go for. So let's take our new mercenary, and let's see, let's take, let's take Whiplash, our Grave Digger, let's take Brook, our m magic person who uses artifacts, I guess, and let's take our, let's take our Jester, our Crossbow person, let's go with our crossbow person, I think. Her unnamed crossbow warrior. I think that'll be good. We're going to take our usual seven torches, I think will be great. Another eight food should suffice us for this adventure, since it's a pretty short one. We got some bandages. Already have a shovel because of our grave digger. Um, I think I'm actually going to buy an anavidin potion, because I think I remember there being lots of things that you know, poison you. So we're going to go with that. Alright. And let's pray to all the darkest dungeon gods that we don't run into a bunch of BS like last time. Hopefully our heroes will be able to hit what they're shooting at uh, and not miss over and over again like they were doing. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is a brand new area. It's not the ruins. A totally different area of uh, exploring that we can do. A lot of the quests that we still have to do are in the ruins, but I think it would be good for a little change of pace here. Alright. So I've never really used the mercenary. I don't know what he does. I'm assuming he's kind of like a frontline fighter, so we're going to find out here. Heading on down the way. Instantly ran into a trap. Two damage. And extra stress. And bleeding. Fantastic. I think we're going to go ahead and use a bandage so he stops bleeding all over the place. There you go, Whiplash. Enjoy. Alright, we got a sack here. What's in the sack? We got a map, it looks like. So that's kind of cool when you can find a map. So you can kind of see here, like, oh, there's going to be a battle here and a battle there. So if I'm, uh, if they have a specific goal in mind or if I'm really hurting, I can try to avoid certain areas if I want. 
All right, four spiders shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna use flashing daggers to put on some damage to the middle spiders. Shooting his web all over us. Nice resist on the stun. And then we got, let's see, healing or poison. I think we're actually just gonna slash this guy in the back. And he dodged. Because, of course he did. It's one fast spider. Let's see, mark for death. It's a ranged attack. And then we have finish him. 20% damage versus stun characters. That's kind of cool. That would be good with the witch doctor. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the... Jeez, man. Apparently everybody in my party went to the stormtrooper class of learning how to hit things. Because... I swear I'm constantly missing. 10 damage and poison. Not a good start. Good thing I bought that anti-venom. So we're going to use some of that right now. Cure that poison. Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and use suppressing fire. I think it causes a debuff. Yeah, some more damage. Another spit attack. 5 damage on whiplash and poisoned again. Not the greatest. Let's do another flashing daggers. Bam! Take out those two spiders. And then let's see if we can... Let's see. I don't think this... This doesn't cure poison. So that doesn't really help me right now. I guess let's go with another slash. Three damage. This doesn't do a whole lot of damage, that one. Ugh. And my crossbow person is almost dead. Again. Or already. Uh, let's see, another slash. <laughs> Apparently, Eric can't hit the broadside of a barn, even with his giant axe. And we are at death's door already. First battle in the dungeon, and we're at death's door. Not the best. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we got this. We got this. And kill this spider. There we go, 10 damage. <clears throat> a little less stress from the crit, and... Whew, still alive. Still alive, hanging on there. Hanging on by a thread. Hit this guy with a pickaxe. Alright, pick up some loot. We're gonna have him eat a little bit of food to get him out of death's door. Maybe we can get some from this strong box. Uh, not so lucky. Picked up another shovel. Might be useful. Alright, so... Let's see. If I go south, we're gonna run into another battle. So I'm gonna have her eat some f more food. And then we have, uh, what is this? A trap. Which we know is there, so we could po possibly disarm it. Or we could go this way, which doesn't have a battle. I think that's I think that's the way we're gonna go. What's the quest again? 100% of room battles. Interesting. The sack is empty. Not necessarily the most the thing you actually want to hear is that your sack is empty. Um, let's see. Oh boy. What? Okay. Whatever. All right. I didn't even see that trap. Let's open this crate. Heirlooms. Not too bad. Let's see. Next room. So we have to... Uh, we have to complete the room battles. And it looks like there's one down here. And there might be one over here on the right hand side. But it looks like these don't have any because we, had the, we ma found the map. So if we just do this room and this one over here, we might be able to get out of here without too much... Without anybody dying. That's my goal. That's the kind of interesting about this game. It's like, I just want to get out without dying. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, positive successes are just part of, you know, if they come, they come. I just want to make sure that I can get out of it without, you know, killing everybody. All right, books. Uh, crazy books. But they didn't affect him. So, that's cool. All right, we've got some undead warriors. I did not realize that it was so dark. Well, why didn't you guys tell me that it was so dark? Let's lighten it up a little bit. 
All right, let's go with poison. Actually, you know what? No. Let's go with guard. I haven't used that yet before because she's almost dead. Hit them with the flashing daggers. Maybe cause a bleed effect. Nope, not so lucky. Hits Eric in the face with a club. He's pretty much used to that. And some stress. Stress is uh, not as good. Let's see. Let's go with just a regular attack. Seven damage to the face. Almost got the kill, but not quite. Two damage. Resists the bleed. That's good. And then we are going to snipe this guy in the back. Hopefully for big damage. Eight damage. Not bad. Not quite enough to kill him, but we should be able to finish him off with this move. Perfect. Maybe cause a bleed effect. No bleed. We'll finish this guy off with an axe. Awesome. Doing good. This battle is going much better. And then we are going to go ahead and cut this guy in front. For three damage. Not quite enough to kill him. So he's going to get a oh, crit on Eric. Only seven damage, though. Not too bad. He is bleeding now, though. Should be able to finish him off here. Oh, we can't with the... Oh, come on. Can we hit him with the bolas? We can. Awesome. All right. Let's pick up some loot. You got a rare antique. That's nice. Hopefully that will come into use. I don't have any bandages, though. That's unfortunate. So I'm going to just kind of bleed. Or Eric's going to bleed across the ground here a little bit. Yep. And a trap. And that put her at death's door. Oh boy, here we go. Um, got a little bit more food we can use. Let's crank up the light a little bit. Because Eric here actually has less stress when it's uh, lit. It's one of his traits. His other trait is that he's claustrophobic, which I'm not quite sure what that does as far as a negative thing. Spider bite. Resist the blight. That's good. And a spit. Oh, death's door again. Not so good. Resisted the poison, though. Let's hit him with the flashing daggers. Put on some damage. They're resisting the bleed effects, like, a lot, it seems like. Let's take out this spider, so hopefully he doesn't get his turn. Nice. Good job, Eric. Crushing that spider with that axe. Uh, let's... We're gonna heal that. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal, get her out of death's door. Even though it's one hit point it's still worth it because like I said they don't just instantly die when they take damage so if you can just kinda keep them out of that death's door um, you can keep them alive for quite a long time speaking of alive Eric is on death's door now I hope I don't immediately lose him I'm sure he would be unhappy about that crossbow killing the spider uh, let's see let's go with another Flashing dagger. No. Let's see. 95, 90. I think we're going to go with the pickaxe. Pickaxe to the dome. Only four damage. Not great. Oh, sweet dodge by Eric. Whew, staying alive. Oh, okay. Another, another poison. Not too bad. Brick can definitely take the damage. She's the most healthy right now. Let's bring Eric out of death's door. And now he's back at death's door because he's bleeding and he's stunned. Pretty bad for him. Let's see if we can crossbow bolt. Miss spider jumped out of the way. Another heal on Eric to try to keep him alive. Good, good. And another pickaxe to the dome. All right, nine damage. Awesome. We might get out of this alive, guys. Oh, Eric. Oh, stay alive. Okay. Whew. All right, doing good, doing good. We're going to bola this spider for two damage. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hang in there, Eric. All right, awesome. Hey, we got four food from that. Oh, that's perfect. And we completed the quest. We are getting the F out of here. All right. So I know we skipped some rooms there, but... I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with just getting out of there without anybody dying. We got 4,000 gold, which is pretty good. Uh, got a bunch of crests and portraits. What we really need is... Um, actually, I think crests are actually what we need to upgrade the blacksmith. 
All right. Our crossbow lady has a new trait. She is the Warren's Explorer. Extra scouting chance in the Warren's. That's pretty good. Not bad. Much better than last episode so far. Much better. All right. So, let's check on everybody here. So, we need Paradox to de-stress, and he can only meditate. So, we want to make sure we put him there first, because he doesn't have a choice on where to go. Um, and then let's see. Everybody else is looking pretty good. Eric is pretty stressed out. Let's see. What would Eric like to do to de-stress? Eric would love to go drinking. If I know Eric, I think he would like to have some cider at the bar. So we're going to let him go to the bar, drink him up some cider, hard cider. And then I need to de-stress, and I am going to go to the Abbey... And I guess I'm going to whip myself, because that's the only thing that's left. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Who else do we got? We got the crossbow lady. She's looking pretty stressed. We could send her to go gamble. Nope, never mind. She can't gamble. Can she... Nope, never mind. Okay, so she's just going to stay kind of stressed. Uh, Whiplash, can you gamble? Let's see. Tavern. No. He can't. I think all he can do is pray. And right now the frickin' whatever you call this guy, the leader of the abbey is busy praying, so I can't use it. Kinda rude if you ask me. And Brooke, I think Brooke can gamble. Brooke, can you gamble? Yeah, you can. We're actually looking pretty low on gold. That's not so good. Um, let's see, can we upgrade the blacksmith yet? No. We need, we need more papers. Yeah, more papers. All right, well, that's going to have to hold off then. Should have time enough for one more here. Um, we got a couple people uh, available. We're, we're full on our amount of heroes that we can have. We can upgrade that eventually uh, down here. You can upgrade the amount, but we just... We were not far enough in the game yet to, to do that. All right, let's go on one more. Let's take a look at the at this place here, the Weld. And uh, let's go there, I think. That's a short mission. So let's take... Let's see. Um... We need to take someone. We can't take her because she's stressed out of her mind. We'll take our new plague doctor. We'll bring Ham Goblin because he just de-stressed. And we'll take our new Jester. And we'll take Penguin of Valhalla. And we'll put... Or we could take... Yeah, let's take Penguin of Valhalla. And let's take our Jester. We'll put him up front. All right, sounds good. We got some medicine, some anti-venom. Let's uh, buy some food here. Oh, eight food. Well, I'm gonna try to get by with six torches on this one. And uh, I'm not gonna buy a shovel. I'm not gonna do it. I'm low on cash. Hopefully, we can find one in the dungeon. All right. So this is actually the place I was thinking of that is filled with poisonous monsters. Although in the last mi uh, mission, we had like four people get poisoned. So who knows? All right, let's see what we got here. So we have a room up north and to the left. I think we're going to start off by going up north. Oh, no, sorry. Just up north. It's the only way we can go. Sack full of gold. It's the best kind of sack. Sack full of gold. Box. Got some heirlooms. Some crests. Not really what we need. We need we need the uh, scrolls or papers or whatever they're called. Ah, uh, what in the hell? Um, we're fighting ectoplasm. All right then. Penguin Valhalla. Shoot them. Awesome. And then we got the frickin' 
wolf attack, causing bleed, super awesome. I seem to have a lot of uh, uh, multiple attacks on on these guys. That's kind of kind of cool. Uh, let's hit them with a incision. Nice. So far, pretty good. Solo. Forward. Damage tar debuff target. Buff. Finale. Uh, let's just go with the finale. Holy crap! 30 damage? Oh, but it knocked him all the way back to the back row. That was insane. That was actually pretty cool, but it moves everybody around, so that's kind of annoying. Incision. Bam. Done. Not bad. That's probably one of the easiest fights we've done. Alright, hopefully that is a... Uh, a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That is a... Uh, vision of what's to come. It's all going to be that easy. Let's see. we got to move this guy back up. There we go. And then we got this guy here, that guy there. Alright. That'll work. Alright. Not bad. Not bad so far. Alright. Moving on. And I need a freaking shovel. Of course. The one time I don't buy a shovel. So this is kind of the shitty thing that I can clear it, but it's going to hurt everybody and cause uh, a little bit of stress to everybody, which is unfortunate. But I didn't want to spring for the extra money. What is wrong with these monsters in this area? So now we're fighting uh, fungal monsters. Uh, let's see. I feel like they're going to be resistant to poison. So I think I'm going to stun this guy. Yeah! Awesome. And then we're going to try to cause a bleed on everybody with our dog. Alright. Bled the first two guys. Monsters with high protection. Some monsters have protection. There's tax damage. Oh, interesting. So they have high defense, but bleeding and blight ignores that. Well, good thing I just made them both bleed. Let's see. So... I think it's worth it just to take this guy out. Bam! That's an awesome attack. And then we're going to cut this guy up. Nice crit, penguin. I never miss. What are you, bullseye? All right. Oh, crit back to him. Eight damage. Not so good. Groping swipe. That just sounds gross. Alright, let's cut this guy up. Incision. He should die from the bleed now. And that allows us to attack the guy in the back row with our hound. Start working on his health. Open his veins. It's good that a lot of my characters have uh, bleeding attacks. Inspiring Tune. Hmm. See, but this makes him go forward, right? So I can be like, Haw! Oh, and he goes all the way up top. And then the next turn, he can do his awesome attack, which moves him back into the back. That's pretty good. That's I'm liking that. He's kind of cool. I like the Jester. Interesting. And now I can go like this, and I can go like this. Boom! Awesome. He is cool. I like that character. Alright, let's move him over here. There we go. And then let's keep going. We have some kind of creepy effigy here. Troubling effigy. I'm sure that'll be fine. Nope. It poisoned us. Good thing we have an anti-venom. Alright. Looking good on health. Uh, Penguin's a little stressed, but I think he'll be alright. Let's move on down here. So we once we get into this room, we'll have a choice to go up or down. Oof, or we're surprised. Ah, that's what I get for not lighting my torches. Alright, um... Bite everybody! They all resisted. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see... Uh, stun! Resisted. Resisted. Damn it. Uh, grape shot or bleed. Uh, attack. 
five damage, not bad. Also resisted the bleed. That's unfortunate. We'll do the solo. Debuff everybody and move them up front. Swing with the club. Two damage, not too bad. Another club swing, another two damage, not bad. These guys don't seem to be doing much damage. What the balls was that? He just summoned another one. <sighs> that That's just not fair. That's just not fair. Alright, we're going to kill that one with the solo. It's like if there wasn't enough shit to deal with, they can summon more bad guys. Alright, let's kill those guys with a shot. I think we're going to hit these guys with a plague grenade. Hopefully it'll poison them. Awesome. He should die to poison. We'll hit him with the hound attack. Maybe he'll bleed also. No bleed on that. That's okay. We're doing good. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Awesome. Alright, got our loot. Let's move our guys around again. Move this guy up here. You need to move back, and you need to move back. So I put the hound guy in the back because he can use all his abilities. It just doesn't matter where he is. He seems to be able to use them wherever, so... It seems like that's a good spot for him. Hey, valuables. Holy water. Fantastic. You can use that to kind of buff yourself. Trap. Oh. See, that's the second time that's happened, where a trap has been sprung. It doesn't say that I've resisted it, but nothing happens. I mean, I'm not complaining, obviously. I mean, I'd rather not take damage than take damage, but still. All right, so we got a room battle here and a room battle here, room battle here. So we, we have to do these room battles. There's no choice. That's part of the quest. So we can have an encounter here, some maggots. These guys are usually pretty easy to take out. They don't have much health. And now they're all bleeding, which is great for me. Now we're going to poison them. All the status effects, all the time. Grape shot! Bam! Took out three of them. Nice job, Penguin. Way to shoot and not miss. And we're going to finish this one off. 30 damage. That's so crazy. I should I should have named myself after this jester guy. He's like the coolest guy. I'm not much of a jester though. I can't really sing or juggle. I'm just, you know, good at hitting things. All right. Mm, some new enemies here. We got a wolf which causes bleed. Let's see. I think I want to take out one of these bat guys right off the bat. Come on. Dead. Nope, not quite. 10 damage. 10 damage is still pretty good, though. Uh, we can't quite reach him. I don't think the tracking shot will kill him. There's 4 health left. I think we're going to go for the bleed on this guy. Awesome. And then we're going to go with... Uh, we could stun somebody. I could stun or I could kill... Nope. We're going to stun. We're going to stun this guy in the back. Awesome. Bring him up to the front. We're going to use our hound attack to hit everybody. Not bad. Causing... Oh, hit everybody with that bleed. Mark Prey. So he's been marked with some kind of goopy mushroom spores. Oh. Oh, sweet dodge by Penguin. Awesome. More bleeding effects, another bite. Not so good, not so good. I have a feeling this this battle is going to be a little, uh, a little, a little harder. Wong, nice guitar solo by our jester. Debuff the entire enemy. Let's hit him with the bleed. I don't know if that's a good idea. So they're bleeding again, and then we are going to cut up the dog. Seven damage, nice. He's bleeding, so I'm hoping that he'll die. Escape cloud. Ooh. That moves him backwards. Penguin's getting a little low. Creep shot! Nice. Good pickup on that middle guy. Oh boy. Oh no. That's. We got a death door. And he's bleeding. Stay alive. Stay alive. 
Uh, let's see. We're going to nail this guy. He freaking dodged it. It's the worst possible time that he could have done that, to be honest. Wolf attack. Oh, I can't heal him. Oh, that's not good. Uh, slash kill. Oh! Son of a... Well, that's our first death. Penguin Valhalla has succumbed to his wounds and has bled to death. Oh, after all that. Ah, damn it. Ah, you have the option of retreating from the combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well... If you're watching this, uh, Penguin, I'm sorry, but you have been killed. We have suffered our first casualty. That sucks. Yeah, after all, we survived, too. We freaking bleedy status effect is the thing that took him down. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. Uh... Let's feed some people some food. <laughs> so light it up a little bit. Oh man, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the end of this one. So we have two more room battles we have to get through. Oh, come on, really? What was he poisoned? I can't really use the four food I have left over in case everybody gets hungry. Last thing I need is for people to die from hunger. Come on, more food. Map. Map doesn't really help me. I've already explored all the dungeon. Give me some food. Or a trap. I like a trap too. Oh, thank God he resisted. Okay. Okay. All right, spiders. We can do this. Uh, we're going to eat the dog biscuit. Get ourselves a buff. Wham. Nice damage on all those guys. And a bleed effect. Okay. Okay. We're going to take out this guy. He freaking dodged. Come on. Uh, Alright. How about killing that guy? Okay. Not bad. <clears throat> the bleed is not going to be enough to kill them. But that, that might have worked out because it moved our Jester to the back. So he's less likely to get attacked here. And he is the lowest on health. So, not great on the poison, but let's see what we got here. Oh, come on, why him? Oh, uh, don't. Don't, don't, just don't. Just, come on, game. Just throw me a freaking bone here. Don't stun him. Don't stun him. You... I was going to kill all three spiders on that turn, too. Alright, just, just just kill that one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you... So... Just, just... It can go so bad, so fast. Please kill those two. Or kill one of them. I guess that's better than none of them. There we go. Bleed. Uh, freaking... Okay, good. Alright. All we have to do is survive one more battle. Just one more battle. We got this, guys. I hope you believe in me. I, ne I need your good feelings right now. I need you to send all your positive, positive uh, emotions towards me. Because this is the last room battle. And if we can get through this, then we can... Oh, are you kidding? Do we have a shovel? We don't have a shovel. Of course we don't have a shovel. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. We'll be alright. Just a couple thorns. It's alright. Let's see. He has the most stress. Of course he couldn't disarm it. Please resist it. Okay, good. 
He's pretty stressed out though. Beast carcass. Don't poison him. Don't poison him. Okay. 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 We got this. It's the last room. It's the last room. We're gonna use we're gonna use our items. We're gonna buff him. And we're gonna buff him. Alright. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not the great probably the worst thing we could be fighting right now. God damn it. This big guy is so buff. Alright, we got a bleed. We gotta take this guy out. Seven damage. Maybe. Oh, please crit. Come on, Jester. We, this, we are depending on you. 17 damage. Not enough, though. Blanket Fire is gonna put both of them into Death's Door, I think. Well, almost both of them. Oh, God. Oh, we got two on Death's Door. At least they're not bleeding. Yes, attack him. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Um, let's see. Uh, kill the big guy. Okay. I think the bleed will kill him. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, Ham Goblin's still alive. He's still alive. His resolve is... Oh, now he's paranoid. That's okay. Could be worse. Oh, boy. Oh, we just lost their jester. The second person has fallen. And he didn't die to the bleed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, his resolve is being tested. We might be wiping out here, guys. This might be the end of us. Oh, just attack him. Oh, sweet crit. Oh. I don't know if we're going to make it out of here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, there goes our plague doctor. Hand goblin's the only one left. Resist. Nope. Everybody just died. Everybody. That's a that's a screen full of skulls. That's four heroes. Oh, that's so bad. Oh man. On a lighter note. Um, the stress relieving at the Abbey is free, so that's that's nice, right? Oh man! And uh, Brooke lost a lost a trinket gambling, so there's that. Oh, four deaths! Son of a god damn it! All right, well, I think we're going to end it on that terribly depressing note. Um, when I come back, I will have uh, more people to replenish our losses, and I will try and do a little off-gaming uh, running through the dungeons, and uh, my goal would be the next episode we will try to complete the next quest, which is Defeat the Apprentice Necromancer. So we're going to be doing that on the next episode, unless uh, everybody dies, and then there will be no next episode. I'll be starting all over again. So um, thanks again for tuning in and watching. Uh, please make sure to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope everybody has an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.